We'll just explore our new master storytelling toolkit, which are six core tools to help you build powerful meta narratives for social and environmental change. And in this pack, we have this very interesting and it takes a while to get your head around this one is the flow state toolkit. So what is it and why do we need it? The reason why we need it is that we don't know how to work with the right hemisphere of the brain. So therefore, we find it almost impossible to create lasting change on the issues that we all care about. This toolkit takes time to work up to and needs a little bit of background knowledge and understanding of hemispheric lateralization theory. But broadly speaking, the two hemispheres have two different flow states. The left flow state draws from outside, externally, and moves within. This is an extrinsic flow state. The right flow state draws from inside and moves out. This is an intrinsic flow state. And this next bit might not make much sense outside of the training, and if you're new to this, but let me go with it anyway. The extrinsic flow state tends to work with extrinsic motivation, using fear, anxiety, greed, or pleasure to drive behavior, extrinsic values, which are anxiety-based values, and extrinsic purpose, that everything needs to lead to a tangible outcome, one that is measurable, you can see. All these three make up an ecosystem, and it's this ecosystem that almost all of us draw from in our work towards positive change. It's a paradigm. It's a trap that we are in, and I call this the marketing paradigm, which best expresses this ecosystem. Now, if you look around, look at all the communications and initiatives on social and environmental issues, I guarantee you, you can spot these extrinsic flow states almost universally across almost all communications, campaigns, and initiatives. But there are huge problems with extrinsic flow states, as they undermine long-term change. They work with the wrong values, they create conflict, tension and polarisation, and a whole host of other problems. Trying to create lasting and positive change using an extrinsic flow state makes no real sense. So this toolkit can help you to map out what would an intrinsic flow state look like, and how would that be expressed in your work? For example, how would everything look and feel if you use intrinsic motivation? if you knew how to work with intrinsic values and you work towards an intrinsic purpose. This means that we need to join all the dots up in this toolkit so that everything comes together to understand how to change the different flow states that we're working with. And here is a really exciting promise here, because if we can get this right, if we can build a new ecosystem, well, think of it like a new engine and apply this engine to everything that we do, and it works, we can encourage others to use the same engine, the same approach. And when we do that, we can start awakening the intrinsic values that are needed for societal change. Making this shift has huge potential for social and cultural transformation, but it's gonna take time to warm up to how to work with these different flow states and understand how to implement them. That's why we have specialist training on our main master storytelling training program, which goes into this alongside bespoke workshops to help you get there. So if you're interested, go to our website to find out more.